four, three, two, one. This is the way we all want life to go. But sometimes, it turns out like this. Hi, I'm Morris Fisher. Today, we're going to look at social behavior. How we should approach certain situations, what we should do, and what we should not do. Behind me, a young man. Let's call him Andrew. He's in an environment we all know. Let's see how he handles this social situation. I noticed you're not using that eight pound ball. You mind if I take it? That's not all that's eight pounds. Now, let's try that again and see what Andrew should have said. I noticed you're not using that eight pound ball. Do you mind if I take it? Sure. What do you mean? You were watching for a while? Uh, a, a little. You're a really good bowler. Thanks. See? The conversation has already been sparked. Now, here's another situation. Let's see how you'd react. Would you A, take the movie? I really want to see this. B, give it to her. Go ahead. Actually, you look like her sometimes. Or C, walk away. C. If you pick C, you are socially inept. snippet of the video. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Um, has anyone seen Andrew? Oh, Andrew, um, if you could just come back and take your seat. We're going to break in a little bit so you can get more food then. He's like the Stay Stuffed Marshmallow Man, huh? Honey. <laughs> Anyways, um, what'd you guys think of that? Louis, your reaction to the video. My reaction? Well, the plot didn't seem too substantial. The acting was uh, very weak. The man didn't seem too confident in his delivery. and uh, The woman didn't seem to have the slightest idea what was going on. That was me. Oh. I didn't catch that. Any other comments about the subject matter? What the fuck were they doing in a bowling alley? Yeah, I didn't get that. Oh, oh, okay, okay, you guys aren't really getting the... You know, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, some people aren't visual learners. So, let's take a different approach. Um, this is a really good way to get comfortable with people around you. I want to hear some embarrassing stories. You know, laughter is an incredible tool and has magnificent healing power. So let's hear some funny anecdotes, some awkward situations. Come on. I know we all have a plethora of them. <laughs> I remember this one time in PE class. You're, you remember Mikey McAllister? Oh, yeah, Mookie. Mookie. We called him Mookie. <laughs> we called him Mookie. Well, this one time in PE class, we were doing swimming for that week, you know? And uh, Miss Carter, she was a little funny, you know? <laughs> funny. <laughs> anyway, Miss Carter brought all the girls into the showers and me and my buddy, um, was it right? Eddie. Eddie Callen. Well, me and Eddie Callen swam up to Mookie and, you know, Eddie grabs him from behind and I just go under, you know, and just rip off his shorts. And <laughs> I got out of the pool and I ran over to the lifeguard stand, you know, and I hung him up. I hung him way high up. And then everybody runs out of the gym and He's in there for like 10 minutes and everybody's, you know, peeking in and finally he gets out and he, he runs over to the lifeguard stand and, he, you know, he's just naked, j jumping up. <laughs> you remember that? Oh yeah, that was a hoot. Thomas, I meant embarrassing stories about you. I just want you to see that it's okay to laugh at yourself, you know, to, to kind of... Step out of your body and just 
look back and laugh like you're somebody else. Okay? Anybody else? Andrew, what are you thinking about? Uh, no, I was, that, that reminded me of a really bad experience. Uh, well, I was about nine, I think, and I couldn't swim. I was, I was in a pool in the neighborhood, it was a public pool. And most of the kids went there on the weekends. I only went in once in a while because I still had to wear those orange floaty things on my arms. Uh, one day I, I found myself in the deep end. I didn't go in the deep end, but I, I was just there one day. I was having fun and some kid had a BB gun, shot out the one on my left arm. All of a sudden, pow, it was gone. And I started to sink. You know, the only thing was my right arm was still above the water. I was doing everything to just try and get my head above water. I was kicking, I was flapping my arms. And no matter what I did, I just, I couldn't get the water past this part of my nose and I, I couldn't breathe. It was scary. Well, until some nice lady jumped in and saved me. And how did that make you feel? Well, I, I was scared. I, I thought I, I couldn't pull myself up. Well, man, you know, you should have, like, I mean, I'm sure you were, you know, a big kid. You know, you should have just beat the crap all out of him. Well, I didn't even know who did it. And I wasn't a violent person. I never had a fight in my whole life. Mm. Neither have I. Oh. You should try it. I was in like six of them in high school. Sort of seven. That's fucking great. Lewis, do you have a story to share? <laughs>